Well, LHC has run beautifully this year. We have gotten five times what we were expecting in the beginning of this year. And the uh, physicists from the CMS experiments have been working day and night to sift through the 500 trillion proton-proton collisions that were acquired this year to in search for the Higgs boson. And what we have found is quite significant. We have narrowed the Higgs boson into a very narrow mass range between 114 to about 128 GeV billion electron volts, just around the mass, little over the mass of a silver atom, but in a very narrow range. A very large range between 128 to about 600 billion electron volts. Those mass ranges have been excluded just by the CMS experiment at 95% confidence level. And similarly also for 99% confidence level. So Higgs is now trapped into a very small region which we are investigating and with more data that we will collect next year, this region will be well understood and the existence or non-existence of the Higgs boson will become very clear. So in this narrow range between 114 to 128 GeV where the Higgs boson is now restricted just on basis of CMS results alone, we are seeing small excesses in several channels, but the statistical significance of these excesses is not large enough to claim observation or evidence for the Higgs boson. This could be statistical fluctuation of the background, and there is always background in searches like this, or it could genuinely be a Higgs boson in the vicinity of, say, about 125 GeV. If it is the Higgs boson, then the rate at which we are seeing them is very similar, but with large errors, to the standard model expectations. But again, it could be Higgs, it could be statistical fluctuation of the background, five inverse femtobarn of data has allowed us to shrink the Higgs search range into this very narrow mass region, but it hasn't the statistical sensitivity to completely claim evidence for the Higgs boson or rule it out. So this is the region that will be scrutinized with more data, and next year we will get four or five times the data that we got this year, and by that time we will, we will have complete evidence or deny the existence of the Higgs boson clearly. Yes, uh, typically, <clears throat> as you search for the Higgs boson at low mass ends, so around 114, 120 GeV, the amount of background that is present in these searches is substantially higher than, for example, if the Higgs were the size of a gold atom or twice the gold atom. And so you need to stabilize the background fluctuations much more in order to see the signal of a Higgs boson at low masses. So yes, low mass searches are harder to do. There is more background and thus more data is required. Yeah, we are looking at several channels and this is because we want corroborative evidence from all of them. But at low mass, say around 120 GeV, the main decay modes of the Higgs that we are sensitive to is when Higgs decays into two energetic photons or when the Higgs decays into two Z bosons and the Z bosons decay each into two leptons. So the final state, the way you see the signature of the Higgs is four absolutely fantastic leptons and nothing else in the event. So these are our main channels, but there are also Higgs, which decays into tau leptons, Higgs, which decays into B quarks. These are all also uh, decay modes of the Higgs that, as we increase in statistics, we are becoming much more sensitive to. So CMS is a very versatile detector, and it has several excellent subcomponents which make it. And it starts with the magnetic field which under which the silicon tracker is. And uh, the silicon tracker is extremely precise in the way it tracks the trajectory of charged particles. We have a we have a beautiful electromagnetic calorimeter, a very precise muon measurement system, 
And the beautiful thing about CMS is that it's a very gla granular, it's a high resolution detector. And so it's possible to combine information from several sub detectors to form one comprehensive picture of the flight of particles as they emerge from the collision region where proton proton collided. We call this particle flow, and this is one of our strengths. When I started my career in particle physics, we knew nothing about the Higgs. We did not know whether the Higgs had zero mass. And so the searches for the Higgs started here at CERN in the LEP era in 1989. And we have been pushing where the Higgs could be already from 0 to 114 GeV at LEP. At LHC, we have now closed the gap from the other side, from the high mass side, to 128 GeV. And this is a fantastic achievement. And uh, given that we have achieved this more or less in one year of running of the LHC, uh, I, I just feel fantastic. I mean, very satisfied. And particularly, uh, it has been a pleasure working with more than 600 physicists day and night, coordinating their efforts, working with them, encouraging them to get us to this point. So I think uh, this cannot be, it cannot, the only thing that can be better than this is if we have found the Higgs itself or ruled it out completely. But there's a small sliver left and we'll find it next time.